Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash and welcome to all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ presented in front of you. I request you student please watch the problem carefully, try by yourself and please write your answer in the comment box with some words describing your logic. Don't worry and hesitate because self-evaluation is essential for improvement and after some time you will get the right answer with mechanistic description. So, I believe you have tried by yourself. Now, let me start the explanation of this problem. See, if you look at this molecule, this is actually an aromatic nucleus having two functional group. One is carbon chlorine bond and another thing is carbon carbon bond. It's a, you may consider this is a methyl group. And remember student, in case of aromatic compound, this carbon chlorine bond have some partial double bond character means this is relatively more stronger. So, relatively strong compared to aliphatic carbon chlorine bond. This is the point. So, that is why please remember this and look at the condition. I have given hot alkaline chemenophore or potassium permanganate where manganese has in plus 7 oxidation state means it is a very strong oxidizing agent. So, keeping this information in your in our mind, let us start. So, so first what it will do KMnO4 in presence of this drastic condition it will oxidize this carb methyl group into corresponding carboxylic acid and this is called side chain oxidation and do not worry student instead of methyl if there is an another group also ultimate product is carboxylic acid. So please remember this is called the side chain oxidation which ultimately end up in benzoic acid derivative ok. So this part is called benzoic acid. Now, in the next step, next step is thionyl chloride. This thionyl chloride actually helps to convert the carboxylic acid into corresponding acid chloride. I have already discussed alcohol to alkyl chloride conversion there that place I have discussed about its mechanism. But in short if I say that first these O attacks here it opens up it come back because sulfur chlorine bond is not that much stronger because both belongs to third row element. In the next step, it produces this Cl is double bond O O. So the rest part you can consider that this is an a start type. Now, in the reaction medium, there is a chloride. So what it does? This chloride attacks this carbonyl group again, and through acyl nucleophilic substitution type reaction, it produces this acid chloride, and along with that, it produces one molecule of sulfur dioxide SO2 plus another molecule of HCl from where HCl after this nucleophilic attack one H plus was removed and in the last stage Cl was removed. So, these two combines and produces HCl and by the way both HCl and SO2 both are gas so they come out from the reaction medium. So, whatever product remaining in the reaction medium that is acid chloride. So, in this way you will get relatively pure product means the workup procedure is not that much difficult. Now, in the next step is given hydrogen peroxide and in presence of hydroxide. So, what is it does? Student, this is a reagent which produces hydro peroxide anion means one proton from hydrogen peroxide which looks like this. So, abstracted by this OH minus and produces this is an equilibration reaction, reversible reaction. And question is in the reaction medium there is hydroxyl and hydro peroxide anion which will react with this acid chloride. Obviously, the hydroperoxide. Why? If you look at this hydroperoxide molecule, the lone pair of adjacent to oxygen have repulsion and this is called alpha effect. And because of this, this oxygen becomes relatively more nucleophilic compared to hydroxide. Actually, this becomes more nucleophilic, but this is less basic. So, had OH minus hydroxide is a stronger base, although hydroperoxide means HOO minus is a better nucleophile. And in this case, the reaction is acyl nucleophilic substitution type reaction. So, it will open up, it will come back and Cl leave and ultimately this is produced this parax acid and student this reagent has a name metachloroparbenzoic acid or MCPBA. I guess you have seen extensively this reagent for epoxidation of alkene. This is actually electrophilic epoxidation and this reagent remember this reagent does not keep in anhydrous because of the peroxy linkage. So, it keeps around 70 percent aqua solution. So, so what are the key steps and name reaction associated here? First step is called side chain oxidation, 
to convert any side chain of this aromatic compound means carbon containing let us say don't confuse don't get confused with this chlorine so this side chain will be converted into carboxylic acid maximum oxidation later on this carboxylic acid will be converted into acid chloride third step is acyl nucleophilic substitution where hydroperoxide anion is acting as a nucleophile to produce this par acid or peroxy acid and in this case this oo bond is peroxy linkage because the oxidation state of this oxygen is minus 1 and this mcpba molecule shows its oxidizing capability because of this peroxy bond okay so in so in conclusion what do you have okay by the way let's come to the option what is the option so answer of today's discussion is option sorry option d okay student it's written in such a way that please don't get confused now if this question is asked in your exam less than 30 seconds how can you solve first of all kmno4 oxidation is nothing but side chain oxidation you need to understand point number one point number two thionyl chloride convert acid to acid chloride and last step oh minus hydrogen peroxide okay means produce hydroperoxide and that will attack to the corresponding acid chloride so ultimately it will produce this and in this case student if possible you can write the intermediates in your notebook but i believe do practice such a way that you don't need to write you can visualize it during the exam hall and for that purpose first you need to study more second you need to write practice and third you need to keep your mind cool in the exam hall and this hydrogen peroxide alkyl is a very famous reagent like dekin oxidation alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound epoxidation so remember this reagent is very important and why not other option see first option there is carbon carbon bond broken not possible here so gone second carboxylic acid is there what about thionyl chloride so this is a first step product not possible third option carboxylic acid fine oh not possible see carbon chlorine bond cannot be broken here another thing you can say that sir there is a carboxylic acid it's withdrawing in nature so hydrogen peroxide can do nucleophilic substitution on carbon chlorine bond remember student carboxylic acid is not that much withdrawing because this carboxylic acid can produce can have an equilibrium equilibrium with so you may consider that equilibrium with is salt carboxylate anion H plus. So at that condition you can't say that this is so much withdrawing because carboxylate ion is negative in charge. So because of this deprotonated form the electron deficiency in the benzene nucleus is not that much. Okay. So this is the end of this discussion. Now let's come to some conclusion what you have learned today that side chain oxidation of aromatic compounds could be achieved by hot alkaline KMnO4. Thionyl chloride is a good reagent for acid to acid chloride formation as the byproducts both SO2 and HCl are gaseous in nature, so they come out from the reaction medium efficiently. Peroxide anion is a better nucleophile than hydroxide due to alpha effect. And finally, the peroxy acid or par acids are strong oxidizing agent like alkene oxidation to corresponding epoxide. And finally, the oxidation state of the oxygen atom in peroxide is minus 1 and it is an intermediate oxidation state. That's why peroxide shows the behavior or property as an oxidizing agent. So this is the end of this question. Thanks for watching. If you really enjoy my content, please help this channel to grow. And you may visit my another channel, Climate and Chemistry, where I upload global warming and climate change related videos. So stay happy, stay blessed. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.